SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays. Star Fox, how are you doing today? No, I mean that. Like, I, I want to know how you're doing today. Because today, it, like, leave a comment. Tell me how you're doing today. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely interested in how you're doing today. So, Because what I'm going to be doing today is playing the hardest difficulty level. Level 3 in Star Fox. And this is where the game starts to get hard. It, it's... I had, there are two or three or four... <laughs> Basically, after the first two levels, the game gets fucking hard. You've chosen course three. A good choice to take Venom by surprise. And you know what? Oh, didn't that feel good? I edited out that stupid takeoff sequence and go went straight to the freaking level. Now, there's something off about this level, and I just can't put my finger on it. You know, it's kind of like the first like the Corneria levels on the other paths, but uh, I can't quite put my finger on what's different. You know, it's just me. Is it those, is it the ground? Is it those mountains back there? Anyway, it's just like the first paths you fly through the arches. It's a little bit tougher to fly through the arches. You gotta kind of hit the brakes there and hit them, get it at an angle. Yeah, what's what's different? Is it these robots thing, robot things? Is it Slippy needing help? It's definitely not that. That's 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 every level. But here we've I'm going to slam into the door <laughs> and get my my double uh, laser. But yeah, as you obviously as I'm jokingly referring to, the sky is red. A red sun rises. Blood has been spilled on this night. I'm not sure why they decided to do this. Maybe there's an explanation. It was detailed in like the instruction book or maybe Nintendo Power or something like that. But um, yeah, everything's everything's red. Whoa, that was close. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's is if it's supposed to like imply that this is a sunset or something like that. Maybe I don't know. But it does look kind of cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is the uh, third path, and we're actually going to see a different boss at the end of this level, unlike the first two paths, which had the same boss. We're going to see a different boss, and it's it's not that hard, but it's not th it's it can be kind of tricky. Not tricky, but a pain in the ass more than anything. It requires a lot of precision. Get these guys out of the way. These guys are moving this... It looks like a... The Tower of Tokyo. Someplace. We got our first uh, bomb there. We got another one coming up. We could risk our health and fly through between there. That's not necessary. Because there's another bomb coming up. And Falco apparently is going to take care of the attack carrier all by himself. He's got this one, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead, Falco. Yeah, here's the next bomb. So you don't have to bother with the other one. Hit the brakes. Get to the checkpoint. Probably not necessary to blow these guys up and wreck their remodeling plans, but it's still fun. Okay, this part's a little hard here. I usually get hit here. Underneath, underneath, and you go over this thing and then duck down. Oh yeah, I knew I'd screw it up. <laughs> Although my, I'm still at 100%, which is odd. And that's right, this time it's not a ship that gets in front of you to fly backwards. This time it's a tank. And these three things rise up, revealing plasma cannons. And when they turn towards you, the thing floating things turn toward you, you gotta shoot them. In the meantime, dodging the, uh... God, I can't flip. Ugh. My L and R buttons are not cooperating. Look out. And yeah, the, the last one... Whoa. The last one will fly at you. And here's where it gets kind of hard, because you gotta... The targets are pretty small, and it's hard to stay still and precise. But uh, apparently that was no problem for me. Well, it was kind of a problem, as I zoom into the explosion again. 
because my shield was pretty dilapidated there. Do my celebratory roll. And everybody's good except me. Robert Rudell. Where art thou, Robert Rudell? If anybody knows anybody named Robert Rudell, tell him I said hi. 100%. I'll take it. And coming up next, we've got another asteroid belt. There is a secret in this level. Use the L or R button to escape the tractor beam of the enemy battleship. You can do it, Fox. Thank you for those very inspiring words of encouragement. Thanks for saying that, Peppy. I wouldn't have known there were ships in my face had you not warned me. Oh yeah, this level is plasma cannon heaven. And I'm a little nervous because my my L and R buttons really aren't working very well. Like for I don't know what if it's the controller. I'm playing this on the Retron 5, and it's just not registering. You have to hit the L and R buttons like four or five times to get it to to roll. Whereas normally on the Super Nintendo, you just hit it twice like you're supposed to, and you roll just fine. Anyway, the secret to this level, you see that big meteor on the right? If you shoot it, it'll explode, and then a bird comes out, and you just fly into the bird, and uh, it takes you someplace else. I'll be doing that later. Not going to do it now. Yeah, these things, they shoot off a plasma thing, whatever you call those, plasma shot. I screwed that up big time, didn't I? <laughs> Oh well. Um, yeah, now I got my weapon upgrade. Let's kick some ass here. Look out. See, okay, I can kind of flip. The key to avoiding those plasma things. You know what? That's actually the, the asteroid, I think, that you blow up. I don't remember. It's one of the two. I know it's on the right side, but, um, yeah, the, the key to avoiding these plasma shots is to um, is to roll and they just deflect right off of you and that becomes critically important later on because there are some there are some levels <laughs> like Macbeth where it is absolutely 100% necessary to be able to do that to avoid to freaking get through the level okay these things are a huge pain in the ass they attach to a meteor or asteroid or whatever and they stop it in front of you and then the, when you shoot them and explode they let go the um, asteroid continues its forward momentum toward you and you end up slamming into it like watch this here this guy will attach and then the thing hurdles into you it's kind of an ingenious um, enemy design very clever Oh, jeez. This is tough. Oh my god. Just, yeah, this is where you just, like, boost your way through this. And hope you don't get hit. Okay, here we've got our boss. This guy is kind of time-consuming to take care of. Because it takes a long time to get rid of those, like, six pods. Those six levers. Uh. Let's see if I can get this one here. Nope. Yeah, it's time consuming more than anything. And while it's spinning, he shoots that web thing out at you. And when, um, if you manage to get stuck in that, it'll pull it towards its, you see how it spins right there? He'll pull it towards, he'll pull your ship towards you using the, the web thing. So, the key is, don't get stuck. Otherwise, you, this will be absolutely no problem. It's just time consuming, it takes a while. And it's obviously the, the web, when it shoots it, it's telegraphed because of, of the sound it makes. Like, listen. It's just wait for the sound and then dodge way to the left. Alright, there should just be one more. Yep. Look out. And we got one more here. 
And look out for one last asshole attack. Really a dick move by the game to do that, because I have gotten hit by that thing and died after I defeated him when he detaches the propeller thing. And that's it for this episode of Let's Play Star Fox. Or, I guess Snestron plays Star Fox is the quote-unquote official title, but... Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching. And next, we've got one of my least favorite stages that I absolutely suck at. It's Fortuna, and there's an 89%. But thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.